What's up, Pan Dudes? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought myself this leather bag. I got this on Amazon. It's from a company called Handmade Satchel. I don't really know anything about them. I just bought on price and look and uh, uh, and the reviews. Um, so I just thought I'd check this out because, you know, I've showed you some bags here, but I thought maybe we'd get something in the uh, leather category and check it out and see how it is. But uh, this like, comes wrapped in plastic there and these leather straps have been kind of pressed up vertically in the packaging so I won't hold that against them. This is Satchel Messenger Bag. It's for 15 inch laptops I think or they call it a 15 inch bag. I think it's actually about uh, 14 inches wide by 11 inches tall by 4 inches deep. So you can see it right there that you know, that seems probably about right. You know, it's not super big, and I like that because, you know, there, we used to use a lot of 17 inch laptops and nobody does that anymore. I don't even carry my laptop around. I might as well have a desktop computer because I never carry it anywhere. Um, the only thing I do carry if I need to is my Wachimahuti iPad. That's what they're called now, the Apple Wachimahutis. Uh, first of all, let's take a look here. You know, the leather, is pretty odiferous. You know, it has a pretty strong smell. Um, not necessarily like good or bad, I'd say, you know. It smells like a leather store, but kind of like an oily um, leather. And it's kind of nice looking, actually, if it's legit. Now, I'm not a leather expert or anything, but seems to look pretty correct. It doesn't have quite that full green, but it kind of has that antiqued, vintage, weathered, kind of beat up saddlebag type of leather, which I'm actually a bigger fan of, you know, being that I'm basically a, a real life urban cowboy. Now, a couple of concerns that I'd have on this, and I, what I'm trying to look at carefully, is it looks like underneath the leather, there's like a backing. And at first I thought, all right, this is definitely a PU synthetic leather, but as I kind of peek around, I actually think, and I'm, the description said it's a goat leather. And so that's, I'm going to definitely say I'm not going to be an expert on goat leather, but that does look like leather, but it's actually a fairly thin leather, as you can see. You know, it's hard to find an area where it's kind of rolled over here, but it's obviously really thin. And then I think what they've done is they've backed it with some stuff. So if you look at actually kind of these pieces, like this strap here, you can see it's kind of doubled over, you know, so there's obviously two outer pieces of leather. And, you know, this may be the thickest part because, you know, if I look at this, it, it's almost like kind of a leather membrane in some ways. It's, it's really thin. So don't expect kind of a real hard, you know, thick, kind of non-broken in cowhide as far as I can tell this may be how goat leather is so God bless you um, if you know more about goat leather than I do but overall I think it looks pretty nice now the good and the bad about it is you know it smells like leather it smells like an oil it's really strong right now I, I'm sure that goes away especially since it's wrapped up in plastic as it breathes I think that's gonna go away a little bit um, but it's also a little bit slick not not bad but I do like that it kind of flexes and, you know, it's it's pretty supple, you know, to be honest. Uh, so what I wanted to show you on the back here is that there are zippers. It's It's got a two zipper, um, two tabs on the zippers, which is a little interesting. There is a canvas lining and it's kind of this pistachio green. <laughs> so, you know, pretty big pocket here. It goes all the way down to the bottom and even out past the sides here so the opening is smaller than the pocket itself so you have pretty nice big opening over there one of the things that i will tell you is that it seemed like there was tape or something on these pull tabs and they're really sticky so you're going to want to clean that off and it looks like there's tape here on this one not that i'm bagging on it but when i spend my own money i just want you to know what you're getting if you order this um ATC is what's emblazoned on the pulls, but you're definitely going to want to remove that because it seems like there is adhesive stuck on it and my fingers are now kind of sticky. On the front, you have 
a moving tablecloth for one. But you have this flap over, you have a couple of, looks like brass-like rivets there holding on these straps. Now, it's not a magnetic closure. These go in these buckles. I actually, <laughs> I'm torn, man. Uh, I like when things are not just decorative, they are there for real purposes. I can actually buckle this down. The buckle is actually pretty decent. It's got the little roller so that it's not kind of wearing on the, the leather as it kind of goes in and out. And that's the buckle itself. So this is a real buckle. On the other hand, you know, the convenience of it being just purely decorative and actually being a magnetic closure or in sometimes kind of a button buckle closure underneath it is kind of nice. So to really lock this bag down, you're gonna have to work the buckles, two of them on either side. Not a huge deal. FYI, it's 15 inches wide, not 14. I don't know why I said 14, considering I told you it was a 15 inch messenger bag. Um, but just keep, keep that in mind. So for me, most of the time, what I would do is just throw this flap down and carry it by the shoulder strap and never actually buckle it up. But you may be different. And then you obviously have this front pocket, which is about the size of, you know, I don't know, your hand. Flap over the top, over the top right there. And then again, a true actual buckle. And what's interesting about this is the leather on this center strap actually seems to be that really thick, tougher leather. So I don't know why this strap is thicker and tougher than those, but it is. So keep that in mind. Flips open and then you have a little bit of that green lining in the inside again, but you could certainly put passport calculators, kind of easy access types of things. So you have this buckle here and then you also have a little retaining loop so you could run the, the strap through there to kind of hold it down in place. And then on the inside, you have more beautiful green canvas-like lining. You also have the shoulder strap, which is interesting. It's fixed permanently on these rings on the side, as you can see, sewn in. And then you have the straps that are not connected in the bag, which is, like I said, a little interesting. They're actually disconnected, which may be, which I'm sure is on purpose, but it's just like a regular belt. So you'd have to buckle it up here, run the, run it through there, and now you have a shoulder strap. What I can't see is a lot of adjustment. I actually have only three holes now. There's only five total, and I have it on the second one, and as you can see, you know, that strap is gonna be pretty long. So unless you're a pretty tall guy, even if you kind of pull the strap to that smallest, to that last hole, um, you know, the strap is still, which would be right about here, strap is still pretty long. It's not too bad. Uh, I kind of like a little bit of that older school uh, strap style where it kind of slides and and uh, adjusts a little more infinitely. And as you can see, here's the inside of that that shoulder strap. And again, this is kind of a little pretty thick, not quite as thick as this the center buckle right there. But like I said, it's just like a it's just like a belt. It's kind of cool in some ways. Now the other thing it's missing is a shoulder pad. Nothing there to kind of distribute the weight or kind of keep it nice and comfortable on your shoulder. But inside. We have a nice big pocket here. You have a, a back pocket for papers and folders, potentially. You have the kind of this larger middle pocket, which could be used for a laptop. You also have a front pocket right there, you know, your tablet or something, notepads, whatever could go in there. And then on the front flap, you also have a zippered pocket. And obviously pretty big there, so you could certainly use that. Um, I'm not necessarily a big fan of this like pistachio green, but Again, you're not gonna really see it. And I guess I do like the fact that it's pretty bright, so it's kind of very easy to you know, scan through the bag and see what you have. So, interesting, interesting bag. I, I kind of dig it. Now that you've seen all the features of it, it is definitely a bit old school, no modern tech on it. Um, it but if you like this kind of vintage look, you know, a little bit of that casual tempo feel, I, I think you'll like this and for, 
you know, let's call it 40 bucks, I think, 45 bucks or something that I paid for it on Amazon, you know, you get a, let's, a goat skin leather bag. And so I think you can get a lot of style and some hipster cred for not a lot of money. You know, leather goods tend to be very, very expensive. So there it is. Check it out. Peter Von Panda. Out.